All right, here's now three-time All-American, Daniel Lewis. Daniel, uh, not the guy everybody's talking about at this weight. Do you like that role of the underdog and flying below the radar? Has it suited you? Uh, yeah, I think it suited me fine. I haven't really paid attention to it. Flow's not something I log into. They make me pay. Uh, so, no, but under the radar is kind of how I roll. I stay off social media for the most part. I'll retweet and um, follow people like that occasionally. My boy, my man over there with the crazy, awesome pictures. I like those, but... um. Yeah, no, I fly, I fly low. You wrestled him in the dual meet last year. You put a hard ride on him, rode him out an entire period. Did you know that you could win this match? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Um, I knew I was coming in a little probably undersized compared to some of these guys. He's huge. Um, so I knew I would have to keep moving. I... I kind of thought that he would choose neutral um, because I am pretty dominant on top. Um, that's not really something people like to be subjected to. So I know I was probably going to have to get a takedown and fight out a couple neutral periods, and that's exactly what I did. What do you do going into the semifinals? How do you, you know, from now to then? Oh, man, just relax kick my feet up, take my shoes off, think about what I need to do to be successful in, in that match. Um, it's against Mark Hall. Yeah. 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 So I don't know. I just got to, I have to wrestle solid like I have been all year. That's the game plan. You've climbed this mountain before. This is your third time being an All-American. It's, 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 it's finals or bust. Uh, for me, it's a finals or bust. Uh, I'm definitely thinking finals. I mean, I didn't come here to lose. I didn't go the whole season without losing to come here and settle for anything less. But, uh, you know, if I falter, if I slip up, no, it's not. It's, it's not a bust. I'm going to go out and bust my ass and put team points on the board, and we're going to take home a trophy. As you're pushing with Mizzou as the team, for the team points, um, how important is it for you guys to score these bonus on the backside and then on the top side here? Oh, it's, it's, it's major. Backside victories, bonus point victories, that's, that's what's going to make us uh, an All-American team this year. It can't be won with just a couple front side guys. And so I think that in the past we've came back and, and, and placed with only backside wrestlers. So to have a couple front side wrestlers as well as backside, I think it's looking good. The team's wrestling great. I like to see them be successful. They like to see me win. You've had so much success this year. You've crushed everyone. You haven't had very many close matches. Bonus points and a majority of them, right? When you yeah. get in a tight match and there's a lot, there's some pushback, is that hard? I mean, you're not getting tested, man. You're beating everybody up really bad. What's that like? Um, I mean, that's what I intend to do. Just because a guy is highly ranked doesn't mean I'm going to throttle off or try to coast it. Um, I'm going to try to get on top of guys and dominate them. That's what I'm good at. It doesn't matter what their skill level is. If they give me the opportunity, I can finish a, I can finish a match at any time. I think guys are aware of that. So they're starting. That's that pushback I'm starting to get is guys not not necessarily opening up uh, to me as much because they know if I get on top, I could I could potentially expose them. Um, yeah, no, that's just something. When I get pushback, you know, that just goes to my practice habits and, and my practice partners. You know, we have Jaden in the room, and that's about as much pushback as you're going to get. So <laughs> <laughs> wrestling with guys like that in the room, that's, that's, what, that's what prepares me for, for these national matches. Everything else, you know, it's just... Warm up practice. Your top game is so dominant, like you discussed. You know, wrote a guy like Derek Air for two periods a couple of years ago. How much does that impact your strategy on your feet where you know you don't have to take a lot of chances and those guys sort of have to come to you? Um, it's just made me probably more confident. Um, pretty much just confidence. I mean, I know I can ride people, but then again, at, at the end of the day, or um, I know that sometimes I'm not going to be able to ride a guy or some guy might do something weird and get out. So I can't solely rely on that. Um, I've got to have a good, I've got to have a good neutral game. And I think that's one of the big things that I've improved on from my freshman year and my sophomore year is not depending on top as much. I know I've gotten better at top, but other positions I've, I've certainly improved on that position. I think Bo rode me out or got at least a good amount of riding time. I've wrestled him twice. And that time I got I got up straight away. So I think I've just improved all around. Top game is my go-to, but everything else is, is elevating. Last question, Daniel. Good luck tonight, man. Thank you.